Hello there, welcome to another Zero video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reallocate multiple transactions in one go on Zero accounting software. So there could be a number of transactions on Zero that are wrong and they need reallocating. For example, there may have been numerous transactions that have been posted to the wrong contact or numerous transactions that have been posted to the wrong nominal account. These things happen, and I'm going to show you how to reallocate those things. There's this really cool feature on Xero. It's fantastic. This feature really makes Xero stand out from other accounting software because QuickBooks Online, Sage don't offer a feature where you can reallocate multiple transactions in one go. You generally have to go into each transaction one by one and edit that transaction and you can do that on zero too you know if there's only two or three the small amount of transactions that need changing obviously you can find the transaction as an example you can perhaps go to the bank account find the transaction that needs editing click on edit and then edit that transaction it could be that the contact needs changing or the units or the price or the nominal account you can change all that through edit through editing the transaction but if you have multiple transactions you know there could be 50 100 200 transactions to do them one by one is obviously going to be very time consuming and very tedious on other accounting software generally the solution is to do a journal and you can do that on zero too you could do a journal especially if it's just an amount you could journal the total amount of the transactions from one account to another. The issue with that is it doesn't edit the transactions, it just moves an amount at year end, at month end, to correct the accounts. Zero has this feature though. If we go up to the top left here and click on settings and go to advanced settings, Zero has this feature called find and recode. So I click on here. A list will appear, my list is blank, your list will probably be blank too. This is a list of transactions that have been recoded. Currently, no transactions have been recoded. So if I click find and recode here, this is where we can find the transactions that need recoding, that need adjusting, that need editing, and we can edit them. So we add our conditions. If you're used to bank rules, then adding conditions shouldn't be that difficult. But simply, we want to tell Zero what the transactions are. So type, status, account, there's all these different sort of filters, conditions that you can add to Zero. If we do type, first of all, so type is, is not. So type is, is it a sales invoice? Is it a bill? Is it an expense claim? Let's say it is spend money. In case there's a number of transactions that are spend money, money paid out of the bank account that are wrong. If I now click search, it's going to bring up every transaction that's a spend money. That's obviously not what we want. You need to add multiple conditions to really hone in to be very specific on the transactions that actually need editing. So let's add another condition. Let's say that were posted to the account postage. Okay, so they've been posted to the postage account by mistake. So we have two conditions now, spending money from the bank account that have gone to the postage nominal account. Let's add another condition. Let's say each time these incorrect transactions were posted to the contact, which is 7-Eleven. So we have our transactions here. If I now click search, Zero is gonna find every transaction that meets these conditions. So everything that's to spend money from the bank account that's been allocated to postage, with the contact 7-Eleven. So here are the transactions. Let's say all of these are wrong and they need reallocating to a different account or perhaps a different contact. It depends on what is incorrect, what needs correcting about these transactions. You can go through and find the transactions that need editing or you can just simply click on the box here to highlight them all. We can then click recode and then we can choose 
what we want to change. Do we want to change the contact? If we leave it alone, it won't change. Don't change the account. Let's say all these transactions that have been posted to postage actually should have gone to, um, let's find something a bit more relevant, IT or printing and stationery. Let's say they're meant to go to printing and stationery. We can select that, click review, and then when we click confirm, it's going to reallocate those transactions. It will take a bit of time, especially if you have hundreds of transactions. I'm not going to do it now, so it'll slow the video down, but that's how you do it. There are other changes that you can make here. We have region, which is currently not showing. So that's how you change multiple transactions in one go. That's how you edit, correct transactions, multiple transactions in one go on zero. It's a really cool feature. I really suggest you have a look and give it a go. This is obviously a lot quicker, a lot less hassle than going through each of these transactions individually and editing them. There is nothing wrong with doing that. But if you have hundreds of transactions, obviously it's not ideal. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I have tons of free zero videos and content and courses all for free. No registration required. Just check out my YouTube channel or my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. I can teach you so much, all for free, no registration required.